A major break tonight for a Navy SEAL convicted in the hazing death of a Green Beret. Army Staff Sergeant Logan Melgar died during an incident in Mali back in 2017. Two Navy SEALs and two Marines were charged. Now one of the SEALs who pleaded guilty is getting a new sentencing hearing. Ten on your side's Chris Horn is following up tonight. Stephanie, court documents show that one of the two SEALs, Tony Dadolf, applied the chokehold to Melgar that rendered him unconscious. Melgar never recovered. Dadolf pleaded guilty to involuntary manslaughter and got 10 years. And then an appeals court last week set that prison term aside. Originally a special warfare operator chief, Dadolf was sentenced last year to 10 years, reduction to E1 and a dishonorable discharge. He was among two members of SEAL Team 6 and two Marines charged in the hazing death five years ago of Army Green Beret Logan Melgar. All five were in Bamako, Mali in 2017 on special assignment to combat Al-Qaeda. The SEALs and Marines came up with a plan to embarrass Melgar because he had left a bar without giving some of them a ride home to their quarters. With duct tape, handcuffs, and a sledgehammer, they broke into Melgar's room and bound him face down on his bed. Dadolf then applied what's known as a rear naked chokehold, causing Melgar to lose consciousness in about 10 seconds. According to court documents, the SEALs and Marines tried to revive Melgar using CPR and cutting an airway into his throat. They took the unresponsive Melgar to a clinic where he was later pronounced dead. Dadolf pleaded guilty to conspiracy, involuntary manslaughter, and other charges in Melgar's death. One of the Marines, Staff Sergeant Kevin Maxwell, was sentenced to four years for his role, reduction in rank, and a bad conduct discharge. He agreed to testify against Dadolf. What Dadolf and his defense counsel did not know was Maxwell had requested additional clemency. He wanted the four-year sentence cut in half to two years for his cooperation. An appeals court ruled last week that gave Maxwell incentive to exaggerate his testimony and was therefore unfair to Dadolf. And in exchange for that testimony, Maxwell ended up getting a reduction of only one year, leaving him with three years, but the bad conduct discharge was removed. Dadolf, the one who applied the chokehold to Melgar's neck, originally got 10 years after pleading guilty to involuntary manslaughter. He will now get a new sentencing hearing, and the date for that has yet to be set. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.